All right, folks, howdy, and welcome to another one of our videos about gymnastics basics. As usual, um, the goal of these is as guidance for somebody who is already enrolled in a gymnastics class, not for you to learn by yourself at home. Please make sure that you are practicing in a safe and up-to-date facility with the guidance of a qualified coach who is always there to keep an eye on you. All right, um, we are talking about balance beam today, and while many of you who do balance beam will have the opportunity to practice on low beams before you start moving up to the high beam, or you have something like these lovely Spies crank beams here where they can very quickly and easily be lowered and raised, I do want to talk about one other option, and that is you can have the beam set at full height and put a couple of crash mats under it. That way the distance from the beam to the ground is the same as it would be for a low beam, but you are kind of practicing the sight line that you get on a high beam, which means that not only is it good as a beginner station, but it's also a way to take things from the low beam to the high beam if you start learning them on one of those lower floor beams. All right, and helping us out today, we have Andrea. And the first thing she's gonna show us is how to get on the beam. When you have a low beam like this, you can always just kind of climb on the mats and then stand up on top of it, just like so. And it's also important to practice getting off safely. For that, we jump to the side. We always make sure to catch the beam with one hand and we land with the rest of our body in that safe stick position. Catching with one hand lets you know where the beam is so that you don't whack your face on it, which is never fun. All right, and the next thing she's gonna do, she's gonna come down to the end over here, and she is gonna show us just a front support mount, which is how you can get onto a high beam that doesn't have mats. She jumps to her front support, pushes the beam down towards her thighs, swings one leg over to land in a straddle sit, and then she's gonna hook her feet up behind her, slowly push up to a squat stand, and then stand up nice and controlled from there. Excellent. From here, the first thing we are going to do is work on just walking down the beam, staying on flat foot, trying to look out in front of you instead of down at your feet. You point your toe at the beam to help you find it so that you don't have to look down because looking down makes all your wobbles feel way bigger, makes it much harder to walk. You'll notice that she also is very much pulled tall. She has her arms very stable. If you don't want to put them straight out to the side like that, you can also go hands on your hips or you can go um, up in crown over your head and you can also go um, second position out in front of you. Just like that. Those are all options you can use with your arms. Um, and then you can kind of mix it up to keep things interesting. And then we're gonna do the same thing going backwards. Point your foot behind you, take a step when you find the beam. If you don't feel beam there, not a good place to walk. Um, where you keep your focus kind of depends on what you prefer. A lot of folks like to work on spotting the very end of the beam because that's something that's always gonna be there no matter what you go to in competition. But especially for us super tall adults, when we get close to the end of the beam, it can be almost the same as looking down. And so looking straight out in front of you, focusing on something on the wall helps a little bit more. Once you've mastered doing that on flat foot, the next thing we're gonna do is releve. You push up on your tiptoes, squeeze your bottom tight, squeeze your knees tight, squeeze your ankles towards each other, and you're gonna tiptoe walk all the way down that beam. You notice her heels do not come anywhere close to that balance beam. And then the same thing going backwards, find the beam behind you, take a step back. If you start to feel yourself wobbling, um, one thing that can help you is squeezing your bottom tight, thinking of stretching up super tall, because the more stretched out you are, the less looseness there is to wobble. Your other option is to bend your knees, get your center of gravity low, and catch yourself before you move on. And that just gives you a second to steady yourself. But if you did that in a competition, that would be considered a balance check. All right, next thing, we are going to turn our tummy to face sideways off the beam. This is important vocabulary to know when you stand sideways like this, this is called side position. When you face the end of the beam, it's called cross position. So in side position, now we're gonna do sideways walks. Step out, close your feet together, all the way down. And when this becomes easy, you can start trying it in releve as well, standing on your tiptoes, just like that. Another thing you can do to start kind of working on your expression and your artistry 
is as you step to closed, you can put your arms in second position. And then as you step open, you can flourish them out to that high side middle. Yep, and then going back the other way, same thing. All right, go ahead, go back all the way down to the other end. All right, our next set of walks is things that are going to help you eventually with doing your turns and doing your leaps. So the first one for that is we are going to do a passe walk. You place your toe at the very top of your kneecap. The only thing that touches your leg should be your toe. Then you straighten the leg as high off the ground as you can, and then you step. Andrea has a beautiful developé where she gets her leg to perfectly horizontal. You do not have to be that amazing at it. It can just be, you know, 45 off the ground. But this is the eventual goal. And then you turn around. Don't have to pivot, can just walk yourself around. And then we are going to go for dip walks. For this, you're going to stand on one leg. That leg is going to bend so that your other foot can dip slightly below the level of the beam brush along it and step in front of you. You want to brush the beam just enough to feel it, not enough to, you know, strike your toe on fire like it's a match, um, so that you know that you are keeping your feet in line. And eventually this becomes how you swing your leg into a leap. And then turn around one more time. And this time we are going to go for triple kicks. So she's going to kick forward, backward, and then forward and step with the same leg. And the goal here is to keep the support leg super straight and not to rock the torso back and forth. Keep everything except the kicking leg in a straight line. All right. And then go ahead and back up a little bit. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about in our beam complexes for basics is she's going to take a short little run. It's not really a real run, it's more of just quick steps. She's going to punch with two feet together at the end of the beam instead of just jumping off one foot and she's gonna land on the mat. Go ahead. And as always, land in that stick position. All right, thank you very much. I hope this helps you out with your training.